Okay guys, so just to catch you guys up if you have not watched my previous videos, Clarence did a reaction to a video that I did of Queen buying her mom a new car for her birthday. Now underneath the post, and I'm pretty sure all in Clarence DMs and on Twitter, people were asking him, hey, why didn't you attend the party? So Clarence felt the need to explain himself. Like, cause I just want to clear my, my side. Like, I don't, like, there's no beef or nothing. I don't like, I don't, I don't want to say like I hold grudges or anything, but I just feel like there was a certain amount of things said and a certain amount of disrespect that it just made me feel real uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? From a couple people from her family, you know what I'm saying? Neither the less, I'm not here to stir up things again or or any of that i'm just trying to clear my side of the story on so honestly guys i do feel like clarence was very respectful with what he was saying now if you guys did not see that video go watch it it's on his reaction channel and you can hear everything that was stated there but he basically said you heard him he does not hold grudges but it's going to take him some time to get over it which is totally understandable well i guess tina felt some type of way about it because she went on to instagram and she has some things to get off her chest as well so she goes on to instagram and she says says people hold grudges that's on them i'm elevating that's all that matters so obviously she was talking about clarence clarence said that you know he's not trying to hold grudges but he is holding grudges anyways recently tina did go onto her youtube page to basically let everyone know that she's changing and turning her life around um i want y'all to know spiritually too that i've been getting myself together and um i gave my life back to the lord i no longer do the things that i do or desire to do um i'm not gay i don't smoke i don't drink Okay, so I can understand where Tina is coming from on this one. She's stating, look, I completely changed my life around. I'm elevating. I gave my life back to God. Why are you still holding grudges on something that happened over two years ago? But you know, Clarence is stating that he needs time to heal in order to forgive them, which makes perfect sense. There was a lot of stuff that went on. I mean, stuff that we don't know about, stuff that came out on the internet, like the whole hospital situation. Tina's still in his car and buying clothes. Then saying that they're going to beat him up all types of things now things like that are hard to get past especially when they're not your family so i know a lot of people were like you know he should be there to support queen because that's her family yeah it is her family but it technically is not his family as of yet because they are not married now i do feel like queen feels that clarence should forgive them and move past it but obviously he's not ready yet and queen has went on to twitter to express how she feels about the whole situation so she tweets owning up to your wrongdoings is a huge part of growth you cannot subtract that from your journey so who do you guys think she was speaking on in this tweet because i do remember tina coming out and admitting that you know she stole the card and all this other things that she did but i don't remember clarence coming out stating anything that he may have done wrong in this situation i know there's always two sides to the story he never really came out with his side on what he did wrong but anyways she also tweeted i've always been big on forgiveness if god forgave us the way we forgive people we'd be in trouble okay so then someone comes and responds with but not everything is forgivable if you forgive everything people have done to you you are allowing people to continue to hurt you some things are worth forgiving but some things need patience I totally agree. And this is where Clarence is coming from saying like, look, I need a little patience. I can't forgive you right now. So Queen responds with the amount of things we do to God. If he can forgive us, who are we? LOL. But yes, everything isn't easy to forgive. So then she goes on and she retweets this tweet that says, when I forgive people, it's not for them it's for me what do you guys think about that when you forgive someone do you forgive them for yourself 
or do you forgive them for them? I mean, obviously you do for yourself, I guess, because you want to clear your conscience. Like, let me know what you guys think about that tweet down in the comment section below. I mean, you see that Queen obviously agrees with it. And then she also says, forgive, but don't allow the same thing to happen. That's what I have to work on. And I feel like when you forgive people too like soon or you forgive them easily, they feel like they can continue to do the same thing to you over and over. I think that's just my opinion. I know that's things that I need to work on as well because we do need to be forgiving. But again, when you allow someone to do something to you and then you forgive them right away for it, I feel like they just will do the same thing over. Just my opinion. But anyways, I'm hoping that this does not turn into a messy situation again. Obviously, Tina has some words. Queen has some words on forgiveness. To me, it seems like she's more on to her family side with, hey, you know, Clarence, you need to forgive them and move on from this. Do it for yourself. You don't have to do it for them. But Clarence, on the other hand, is like, nah, look, I'm not ready right now. I'll do it on my own time, which, look, I don't see anything wrong with that I know at the end of the day this is really hard for Queen because this is her family which she loves and her boyfriend which she loves and to have the two not getting along is just a complete mess because it's like whose side do you actually take here your man's side the father of your child or your family your mom and your siblings I don't know I'm hoping that everything works out for them I'm hoping that this didn't cause a bigger mess between the two Two, Clarence did mention in his video he was not trying to stir up anything he just had to clear his name because everyone was getting on him for not attending the party so he felt like he needed to explain why he didn't attend the party like I stated if you guys watched his video to me he did everything respectfully he did not talk bad about anybody he just said the way that he felt and why he wasn't coming around now i'm pretty sure queen's family felt some type of way about it and that's why tina went on to instagram and did what she did we know tina is the outspoken one so i'm pretty sure they were discussing it in private and kind of upset about what clarence said and Tina felt the need to go on to Instagram to say that. But that's just my opinion. As always, I want to know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. What do you guys think? Do you think Clarence shouldn't have even brought this up? Do you think he had the right to explain himself? Do you feel like he's wrong for not forgiving them? Do you feel like Tina is wrong for responding to it? Or do you guys feel like that this is just going to start up more mess and more drama? I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below.